Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working with my quality hair. They sent over a loose curly lace wig in the length 20 inches with 150% density. For starters, this is the packaging that the wig came in. They gave me a nice few free goodies, some wig caps, baby hair brush, red tail comb, as well as a super thick elastic band. And you're gonna see exactly how I use this elastic band to kind of melt the lace. This is the inside of the wig. And you guys see, this is like my getaway of switching out my wigs. I literally just use my pointer finger to pull off my wig and plop on a new one. Make sure that when you are switching out your wigs, you do clean your forehead. You're going to see at the end, I'm going to have a white cast around my hair. And it's because I did not clean off the surface because I didn't have alcohol. And alcohol is exactly what you should be using. While I'm rambling, I'm also showing you guys how well they pre-plucked the hairline on this one. They kind of went a little bit behind the baby hair and pre-plucked this one for life. So I literally have nothing to do as far as the hairline goes. Also, I'm showing you this nice, beautiful parting and what it would look like as a side part. I'm going to be wearing it in two space buns, which requires a center part. Um, and I'm also going to be using this electric hot comb to go ahead and straighten out literally just the hairline i'm also going to be showing you in just a few moments how i bring back the the crimps or curls with the same exact hot comb now i like to prep my wig as much as possible before i cut off the lace and begin the installation i just find that that adds for a more neat install but with this one i really didn't have much prepping to do so I went ahead again and straightened out a little bit of the baby hair just to be able to see it and have a nice realistic situation. I also pre-parted it in the center and I also added my self tanner linked down below um, to the inside of the lace and I blow dried that up really good. Now I'm going to be installing with the original Got To Be Glued formula. I'm using a popsicle stick. Um, I bought these from my local beauty supply store. Um, and I'm just going to use that to apply a nice thin layer. I let it dry for about maybe um, 20 seconds to a minute. I can't honestly remember. But as you guys can see, it was still a little bit white. I should have waited a little bit longer, but I didn't. Once I went ahead and applied the lace, I went ahead and applied my wrap strips as well as scarf on top of that. And let it sit for about 20 minutes. That did melt the lace into my hairline. But again, I did not start with a clean surface. So you see that white cast and it's literally haunting me because it literally was my mistake. I went on top of that with my a lot of body edge control. This is a new one that I've been trying as of late. I do use this one in my daughter's hair and I like it for her hair. So I just tried to just to, you know, give you guys a variety of something different. So far so good. I like it. It's not the most extreme hold, but it definitely does the job. And I kind of put that all around. Again, I didn't want to use the wax stick, and as you guys can see, I'm using the back of the electric hot comb to reform some of those crimps. I am a creature of habit, and I just like using my electric hot comb around the crown of my hair, for the hairline, and for around any parting that I do, just to make everything look super flat and super melted. But I also show you how to kind of bring back like a full version of the crimps or curls to make it look like you didn't straighten it out, but it straightened out to give a more flat look. Now I'm going to use a little bit of mousse and I used a little bit more off camera just really saturate that area and just make sure it lays super flat and you guys can see I did a great job it just really 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 you know making everything look flat before I went ahead and put it in that ponytail. I secured it with a ouchless um, ponytail holder from Target and twisted it up into a bun. Now you guys can see the lace is lifting it's not looking flawless there's a little bit of a white cast. Honestly, the key to it is to re-flatten the hairline with your styling strips or a satin scarf. But I'm going to be trying something different and I'm going to use that actual elastic that they provided. I believe this is two inches thick and I'll leave um, a link for you guys to purchase this on your own. But since they already provided it, I went ahead and re or used that to kind of re-melt the lace. Off camera, I went ahead and styled the length of the hair, which I'm so sorry. I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. You guys see it did melt the lace in very well based on what I had. But um, I'm not in love with the powder that I used, which was the Maybelline Fit Me. And of course, again, I needed some alcohol desperately to clean up the hairline. 
but considering those two things I think it came out awesome um, I used my water a little bit of a conditioner and a mousse to go ahead and create this look as well as a denim brush and I think it came out super awesome Okay, so I am pretty much done. I went ahead and do, did two space buns. It's been so long, I feel like, since I've done space buns. So I was pretty excited to kind of bring back a fun, little vibrant look on this channel. I forgot to show you guys how I styled the length of the hair. Honestly, I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. So pretty much this is all I use. You guys know this is my water bottle, my spray bottle. You push it one time and all that water sprays out. I absolutely love these. These are my go-to. I use these for my hair, my daughter's hair, cleaning. All They're literally all over the house. But this one here, I designate to use with the leave-in conditioner. Actually, I put my Tresemme rinse-out conditioner here. Um, just like a couple pumps and then I mix it with the water, shake it up, and then I just go ahead and saturate the length of the hair. I didn't get it like dripping wet. I just wanted it to get damp to kind of like open it up, loosen up the curl and just see what the pattern had in store for me. And then I went ahead and set the curls with a little bit of mousse. This one is from Tresemme and it is a Flawless Curls. It's basically the green one. And basically it's meant for Flawless Curls. And then to set that off, I went ahead and used my Denman brush and that's pretty much it. Right now, it's still a little bit damp, but I would say it's about mm, maybe like 80% dry. So it looks wet, but it's not super wet at all. And if you kind of want to keep the wet look, I would just like overly apply like a serum or an oil sheen shine spray situation. And that's going to kill... And that's pretty much going to help to keep it nice and shiny as far as the rest of the hair. And then the center part, two space buns, and you guys pretty much seen the process. I kept it natural or a little bit light with the baby hair and just did a little bit here. Now I can go ahead and add my soup and swoop them, but I kind of just like them to just go ahead and be like frizzy and messy and do what they want. I did no baby hair today, which you know is not my comfort zone. Again, I gotta go ahead and clean up that white cast that you obviously can see there, but I'll take care of that tomorrow when I get some um, some alcohol. Other than that, I'm gonna hop in the shower and it should be good. If I did not mention, I did not plug or tweeze the hairline out, so if you want it a little bit more natural, be my guest. But I think it looks pretty good. So let me know what you guys think of this one. Don't forget to check out my quality hair. Everything about this wig is listed in the description bar, including a link to shop. Also, everything I used to achieve this look is listed also in the description bar. So check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.